uh, using the side of uh, a pad insert to do the demonstration on what all the dial is all about. I'm probably trying to make a, a six side alterant, so I will use the one, two, three, four, five, six uh, to, uh, to show you how to do that. Uh, first, if you want to avoid a little noisy created by the uh, metal knocking on each other, to put a little bit of clay ball here, just a tiny little bit. You also use that to hold it. And once the clay is drying a little bit further, that the sound will be minimum. Okay, and then we get the clay here. And also I put the little circular marks here so it's easier for you to find where to put your clay in the center. So you don't want to put the clay that is not in the center. That is usually, especially not good for beginners. Okay, so the circular guide to guide you to leave where the clay should be. Um, that, so your clay is in the circular, within the circle. So now you don't see any metal is knocking on each other. There's no sound because the clay, the holding clay ball is getting drier. Use one of my round ribs to compress the inner part so the inside curve will be a little bit more smooth and better looking. And sometimes I prefer removing all the sponge mark or the wood, uh, wood texture, wood grain texture. So the very final stage I usually do use a metal rib to remove to make it smooth. Use the chamois to smooth the rim. Now get to the point that you want to find your six equal parts so you want to use a sponge to wipe clean then you can cut the corner the extra clay from up the corner Right, so I'll wipe up, clean my bed system. And I told you that I would uh, do a six side, six sided. So I will start from here that I have the, all the uh, digits here, three, four, five, six, the most here. And the, start with my local here. So this will be where I'm going to mark it right here and with the finger support on the inside and push it in so that's my first alteration and then 
I turn the dial and find where is my six, okay? So that's the, the next one will be here, six. So I will do right over here. And then I'll find another six, okay? So there's another six here. And I'll keep on turning until I find another six here. One here, it's another six. And finally get to my last, okay, the last six. So you can see that the part that I altered the rim on it's very equal distance because all of the mark here. So that's what this gauge is all about here. Uh, cleaning up is also very easy because this is metal, just like you were cleaning it right on your wheel head. Nice and smooth to clean it. And now ready to pick it up. If you have a clay to hold it, maybe it's hard for you. Use just your your finger to to pick it up. So you might want to get a tool, uh, some kind of a tool that maybe the the back of your the wooden knife or wooden tool. And uh, you could just use the same paper to send it down, so it's fitting right there, and it's very easy to leverage it. Right, just go put it there and uh, pop it up, right? and that's it. I pop it up, and then you turn your turn your tool, and then I can open it up, and it's easy to pick it up like this. Right, and of course the, you could uh, wire it up before you pick it up. Go there and pop it up and pick it up. It's saving a lot of uh, room when you put it on the shelf. Like here, you, you could uh, just line it up on, on a very small space. You could put many uh, small pieces than if you are using a larger bag. That's what this system is all about. Translucent FRP bed insert. Again, not much here. If you uh, a little bit messy, you can use a sponge just slightly wipe up, okay, wipe up, and still keep the, the holy clay there in position. Just put it on. Um, it's flush and uh, it's a skewer, okay. And also for you, if you want to put some uh, mark here on making mark in the circle, this is. It's a strong plastic, but it's still uh, cuttable, so you could get a uh, like a carbide tool and or even diamond file. You can make in all the circles. Okay, you can make in all the circle by yourself. Okay, you can do it yourself. Okay, so that give yourself the kind of where the center is. Right, so it's very easy too. Okay, so just finding center here. And basically when you're using the bed insert, it's assuming you are making the piece that is not awfully large. Not like you're making a platter or a huge piece. It's always aiming for the small pieces using the smaller bed. So that you will save your storage room on your shelf. I usually like to make sure my inside curve is nicely done, so the very final stage you can use some kind of a compression rib or stick to smooth it out. And this is also one of my number six compression stick. Okay, so inside is nice and smooth. The outside also nice and smooth. Maybe a little bit here. Okay, this 
is my number five wooden tool, wooden knife. Cut the uh, bottom corner easily. Again, I like to clean up my bed before I remove it from the wheel head. It's a lot easier to clean it while the wheel spinning. So, why not do it now? On, pop it up. Get the wipe up clean, the bottom. On, for cleanup, it's easier because this is all made of a metal. Metal is easy to just simply use a sponge and wipe it. Yeah, even if you are um, using a lot of water and making a mess here on the bed, it's also very easy to clean because this is very smooth. So, sponge it up. Um, pick it up from those pins here, just lift it. It's easy, very easy. And uh, when you're ready to trim, just you can flip it over. Use the other side. So finding your center using the, the gauge here. If you don't know how to tap centering, this might be easier for you to find the center. And if you, in case you want to do a little bit of a decoration, there's also the same the dial that three, four, five, six, eight. Okay, so you can divide it easily for those uh, most popular division. All right. Thanks for purchasing my back system, and uh, I'm sure they will last you for a long, long time. Um, it's also very enjoyable things to work with, and it puts a lot of uh, thought on it to complete the whole design for some extra function too. And uh, the additional bed insert could be purchased separately so that to increase your whole uh, production line that if you want to make a lot of uh, little things and uh, saving your space on the shelf, additional bed can be purchased too. Okay, thanks for watching.